Hello, my name is Kate and I'm gonna tell you about top 5 rare magic items for combat encounters for low level parties in D&D. These are the series of videos where I share my insights and thoughts on different top 5 magic items for different adventure brackets and why those are good and bad for players and for the DM and rate them according to their utility criteria and whether or not they break the game. And let's begin. There are not so many rare objects that would fit low-level party and doesn't break the game and balance of the combat encounters. I tried to pick those which I would not be afraid to give to the party myself. Though, do not spray these items across your party, because they are kind of rare. And I think it might be a good reward for passing a tough boss encounter on level 3 or a start of level 4. The first sets of items on my list which I would not be afraid to give to the party is armors or rings of resistance. Though armors are slightly a bit worse since you can't put two armors simultaneously on the character. For DMs, both items are harmless. They provide resistance to a very uncommon type of damage on the first bracket of the adventures. Though they can be a lifesaver if the party triggers a specific trap. The item doesn't break an encounter and since it's considered rare, it's kind of a nice giveaway to the party. And from the player's perspective, the items with fire or lightning resistance could prove useful even on a second tier when the fireball and lightning spell comes into play. So I would give this item two mystery stars for the DM and two mystery stars for the player. Shaped like a tree branch and is stung with three small golden bells, the branch has three charges and regains one d3 charge daily. Bell branch is a defensive item that can be used to cast protection from evil and good, which is a good low-level concentration spell, which can be used in a campaign built around non-human encounters, for example in a Feywild. For players, the item bears moderate utility but still can provide good insights on hidden or disguised fey and celestials and make your low spell slot Varlock a little bit more efficient giving him free additional spells during the day. It also can act as a good charm breaker, a very annoying spell on the low tiers. So I would give this item 2 mistresses for the DM and 3 mistress stars for the players. One of the most common rare items of most D&D mechanic games, a ring of protection. The wearer gains plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws while wearing the ring. And that's the third item on my list. Generally, the item increases survivability of the character, not greatly affecting the DM's encounters. Plus one armor is actually a good feature if you are a squishy wizard, but it also greatly boosts you if you're a paladin, cleric, fighter or barbarian who already have a good armor indicator. For example, paladin in splint mail with a shield and armor fighting style gets 20 armor. To hit through this armor, Cobalt has a 25% chance to hit the target. With the ring of protection, the percentage drops to 20. For DM, if you feel this item is not great and you don't want to provide additional saving throw bonus, replace it with Elven Chainmail or any other armor plus one, which would technically give the same protection bonus. But not for wizards or sorcerers who can't wear armor. I would give this item 3 mystery stars for the DM and 4 mystery stars for the player. And let's move on to the fourth item on my list, which is a Staff of Charming. The staff possesses 10 charges and each charge can be used to cast Charm Person, Command or Comprehend Languages with player spell save DC. The player can choose to pass the failed saving throw on a targeted enchantment spell once a day and extend one charge to reflect the enchantment spell back on the caster if the saving throw was successful initially. For DM, the staff can be a very good reward to the party as it extends the available spell slots of casters. Though, the staff possess such as annoying spells like Charm or Command, it only uses Spell Player DC, which is low on the low tiers. For players, if you are playing as a Warlock, Sorcerer or Cleric, it greatly boosts your performance in combat and extends the number of available spell slots by 10. Actually, the staff provides a great feature of reflecting enchantment spell back to the caster 
and also kind of a legendary resistance to any enchantments. Just remember that Succubus Charm is a monster ability and not a spell. So I would give this stuff 4 mystery stars for the DM and 5 mystery stars for the players. The finally card pipe blows odorless bubbles instead of smoke when used. The pipe has 3 charges and it regains them daily. It can be used for Fog Cloud, Bonus Action Misty Step or Summon a Steam Method. The item requires attunement and can be used by any class in the game. Galder's Bubble Pipe is an item from the Lost Laboratory of Qualish and is just super awesome. I love items when you need to use them and this is one of them. For DM, this item helps your party to extend their arsenal of things they do during combat as it possesses tactical spell, protective spell and supporting spell. It also possesses quite a limited number of charges, so if your adventure assumes two or three combat encounters, probably the pipe will be used just on one of them. For players, the item is super great as it provides three valuable spells. Fog Cloud can be used to create obscurity, Misty Step can be used for evasion or closing the range, and also a Steam Method, which is a monster of challenge rating 1 8. It's just a great tiny summon and that can help you in combat and it also has own abilities such as steam breath or you can use it on your own as a meat wall so i would give this item five mystery stars for the dm and five mystery stars for the players to sum up we have any armor or ring of resistance bell branch ring of protection staff of charming and galder's bubble pipe and that's all on my top 5 rare magic items for tier 1, which do not break the game and make it more interesting for you as a DM and for you as a player. And let me know in the comments below your favorite top 5. And see you next time!